Hello, my name is Peter Strokov. I'm the founder and CEO of Peter Strokov Consulting, specialising in sales and marketing collaboration. My guest today is Michael Shepard, former managing director of CGI Australia. Now, having seen the report, which of the findings did you personally find surprising? Well, Peter, the biggest surprise for me in the report was in 25% of the company's sales and marketing met only once per year, or in some cases, never. Uh, that's an astonishing finding to me. Uh, what was not surprising, however, that in those companies, uh, revenue was either flat or the businesses were contracting. Uh, regular, meaningful interactions between sales and marketing are absolutely critical. Thank you, Michael. Given your vast experience and background, which of the findings could you personally relate to? Look, Peter, a finding consistent with my experience is that whilst marketing generally understood the objectives of sales, uh, the reverse was not always true. Uh, in my view, um, the role of marketing is to consistently uh, support business units in growing their business, and that's through deploying best practices and expert resources. That can include developing offerings and value propositions, uh, being able to articulate uh, how a business can add value to the industries they serve and the solutions they specialise in, uh, deploying uh, client-based marketing or deal-based marketing, uh, best practices methodologies, uh, deploying expert resources, particularly for specific uh, opportunities and, and having those resources often being dedicated to those opportunities, and uh, being able to uh, grant easier access to the sales team to knowledge assets, sales tools and collateral. Thank you Michael. Given everything we've said today, what advice would you give to CEOs of uh, large sales organisations who want to grow their revenue and profitability in 2014? Peter, if I could give one simple piece of advice, it goes back to the first point I made about the need for frequent and meaningful interactions between sales and marketing. A very simple solution for this that I would recommend is to put in place what I call a business development visibility system. Uh, conceiving solutions to client success is complex and thus the need for meaning and meaningful and frequent interactions uh, becomes a critical success factor. So what I'm recommending is that there should be one meeting per week that is totally dedicated to business development management and that should include what I call an organisation's go-to-market team and that means sales, marketing and delivery stakeholders and embedded in gender items in that type of meeting should include uh, a review of client coverage and client assignments to see that there is adequate coverage uh, for all the, t all the target prospects, uh, reviewing the sales calls in advance for about three to four weeks out and understanding who is being met, what level of the organisation, uh, what types of interactions, uh, what are the business development strategies and the intended offerings for those target prospective stakeholders. And finally, uh, what I really like and I think needs to become habitual is what I call an offering snapshot. So that could be a case study or an offering presentation from marketing and then in turn the sales participants in that meeting would comment on the, whether that offering uh, would be a good fit for their clients, uh, how they can go to market with it, uh, where does it need tweaking, and for me that overcomes what I see as a hurdle of uh, knowledge of offerings and, and that can drive, can that be sufficient enough to drive frequent, meaningful, face-to-face -face sales calls with clients.